When I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, it was obviously a shock. And it was really a threat to the life that I had spent so long building and the future that I had always envisioned for myself. Especially because the first neurologist who I saw said to me that my prognosis was very poor. Um, and he really encouraged me to pick a different career that would be less demanding. And he essentially told me that the type of MS that I have makes me at a high risk of being very disabled down the line. So in instead of taking his advice, I decided to take charge and be a part of creating a brighter future for myself, because for me, that wasn't an acceptable scenario. Before I had MS myself, neurology was my specialty, but living with MS has taught me way more than I ever learned out of a textbook. And I realized that clinicians are experts in disease, but patients are also experts. So I think that was very eye-opening to see um, the difference between just knowing how to treat a disease, what medications to prescribe, the ins and outs of what symptoms to look for, what tests to order, uh, to now living with a disease every single day. It was extremely eye-opening, and it really showed me the things that I had never even taken into consideration. I am really optimistic about the movement of bringing patients into the research process because I think it makes so much sense and I'm kind of surprised we haven't been doing it from the beginning because I think that when the patients are the ones really identifying what issues matter to them the most, then we are ensuring that we're putting our efforts into the projects that are going to have the most impact on the community. So I'm really optimistic about that trend, and I think it's so important and long overdue. I think one of the challenges to healthcare research, and especially patient-centered research, is getting patients involved in that process. So it takes time to build that trust and to really shift the dynamic, because we're so used to having patients feel that they don't have a voice and don't know how to advocate for themselves. So figuring out how to empower them and really encourage them to take charge and kind of work in the research field to help themselves and help their community is tough. Um, but I think it's something that we're working on and we're getting better and better at.